Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, to a brand new episode of your favorite talk show, Bahrain Now, with me, your host, Bara Abdullah. As we bring you the kingdom's latest topics and initiatives, as well as the latest trends and happenings, all that and more, right after this short break. So don't go away. Ladies and gentlemen, art can speak volumes, especially when an artist like Bahrain-based Mac Junvi Gonzalez Onkoy uses text to make statements and draw out his emotions. The artist, who is a member of the colorfully cool collective called Art Attack Crew, which features more than 30 members of different nationalities and artistic backgrounds, is a textual artist that uses words to deliver inspirational messages. And we are pleased to have him here with us in the studio to talk to us more about his work. Well, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you doing today? I'm, I'm good. I'm a bit nervous. You know? uh, don't worry about it because your <laughs> art is beautiful. Thank you so much. Tell us what inspired you. Uh, actually, uh, I doing calligraphy uh, last year. And then I started last year. And I, but since before, I was in uh, high school. We have this lettering and drafting courses. And then when I got in high, uh, college, I have drawing uh, something, drawing uh, subject, and I developed my skills on that. And from then, I seen this guy from TikTok. He's mm. Ariel, which happened to be like uh, calligraphy as well. And then his followers asking him to, uh, what you call this, asking him to write his, their names. And then uh, from there, I followed him. Okay. And we get along and then awesome. we chatted each other and then he started to ask me uh, to give it a try because I, I told him like I have, uh, I wanted to be uh, calligraphy. Okay. And then uh, he has a, a group okay. which is Ink and Papers PH in the Philippines. Ink and Paper PH. Yeah, that's that. a good name. Yeah. yeah. Actually, and then uh, from, from that on, I joined the group and we have this weekly uh, what you call it, weekly projects. Mm. And then uh, that's the time I, uh, my skills get developed every week, every week. And we, we, we will vote the m best member okay. on that particular project. And then we will get the, if we won, uh, we have top five contestants, something like that. Okay. And if we won, all the members were going to write our name on their own ways. Wow. Something like that. So I, it encouraged me a lot to do, to push me like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this for a living, something like that. Wow. Actually, I'm earning something for this. Okay. Like, for example, uh, Aruf, Muhammad Aruf Golum, okay. a.k.a. Yeah. Master Aifu. Oh, wow. He's, one, uh, he's the founder of Art Attack Crew from, the, from here in Bahrain. He did me on Instagram to join his group. Okay. And from then, there's a lot of projects like murals, something like that. Mm. This uh, last time we have this uh, from the hotel. I forgot the name exactly the hotel. <laughs> no props, man. Yeah, but we do this uh, face of a girl, like it's real, something like that. And with uh, flowers on it, leaves with, with, with the side of the girl. And I'm so proud of that. It keeps on helping me, not only my art journey, we bound as a family. Okay. Helping each other, awesome. like we have this, uh, what you call this, something like uh, session, graffiti mm. session under the heat of the sun. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Thank you. So now that was a beautiful intro to your world, yeah. you know, and so you're a calligrapher, a little bit of graffiti art, if I may say as well, a lot is going on. I love your art. Now, so I've seen your art, you know, Gandam is right here, yeah. you know, all the... I would say different calligraphies and fonts and colors, beautiful, very so attractive. Now, I felt when I saw Gandam, me being an anime fan, you know, and I, I, you know, I grew up watching Gandam as well, Nineties. and a lot of anime, <laughs> and yeah. I felt that you moved something so cool in me. It's like, oh my God, Gandam, let's go! But this is super awesome, you know? Thank you. Like, it's a different culture, it's like between 
roses, and then you got this, you know, the cyborg machine, and at the same time, a futuristic look <laughs> yeah. up there. So I feel moved. I feel like Thank this so is much. super cool. Thank you so much. What about other people? I mean, I'm sure they give you some feedback about how they felt when they saw your work. Yeah. Actually, um, I'm using text and uh, some lyric, song lyrics okay. and encouraging uh, words from internet and some of my experiences in Bahrain. Like, okay. uh, and then from that, I use this technique. As you see, I have, uh, I'm using also some faces of ladies mm. because I'm trying to uh, develop my skills for uh, uh, drawing some figures and uh, uh, faces of uh, girls and human, you mm -hmm. know. And then from that, I'm starting to uh, learning and practicing all day, like I'm pushing myself to the limit. Mm. Like, and then uh, it depends also, it depends also on the, on the text and song lyrics I've used, like Waiting in Vain, Bob Marley, something <laughs> like that. Yeah. And then for my inspiration, uh, I use my, uh, I have my dark moment of my life. Of course. Yeah, man. Everybody like, has we that. We all have those. But yeah. the thing is, I use this dark moment of my life to divert this that moment to something positive, wow. useful, and to have my inner peace, uh, something like that. So now, here I am, so I'm doing great wow. and aspiring some other uh some other uh, artists, young artists, yeah. aspiring artists, to do what they want. Thank That's you. That's a superpower. Thank you so to much. To actually go, you know, when you have your dark moments, yeah. and to convert that into a positive mm -hmm. moment, that is a superpower. Not everybody can do that. So you're yeah. one of the Avengers, I guess, at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Marvelous DC. <laughs> Are yeah. you a DC or a Marvel fan? Name it, I don't care. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, li I love them both. Okay. Like okay. Uh, in the Philippines, like we're going crazy about X Men. All right. Because All right. we have this television, like yeah. uh, every Friday we have the X Men <laughs> from seven. <laughs> Don't change the channel. Yeah, something that's like it. That. That's it. And yeah. I can see how that even translated into some of your work, like Gundam, right Thank here. You. I <laughs> yeah. love this. I love this. Thank you, man. So now, speaking of experiences, right mm -hmm. in Bahrain, how do you see the art scene here in Bahrain? You know. We all know that Bahrain is just a small country and with a small population. But surprisingly, like uh, Bahrain scene in uh, uh, art scene in Bahrain is like amazing. Mm. Like I've uh, from I met ATK, okay, the Art Attack crew, and then from there I met another, you know, artist like. For example, Mustafa, yes. Mustafa Luachi. Oh yeah, we had him here. Yeah, Amazing man, he's guy. he's like uh, encouraging me, like Junbi, do this, do that. Okay, you need to make like a face, like it's real. And then right. we have collaboration, by the way, in Adlia. And then we do it the uh, found my way home mm -hmm. because it's like connection to the other lady that he's doing. And then I'm so honored to meet this guy. Wow. Man, like uh, I go crazy, like okay, let's do it. Come on, <laughs> and then it's just like a practice collaboration. So, what can I say? I just okay, let's go, let's do it, let's awesome. kill it. Awesome, awesome. I mean, like, I can definitely see it happening. You and Mustafa in another interview happening right here. Oh man, <laughs> don't see. Let's make that happen. <laughs> really, man, I'm so excited if right. ever it's gonna be happen. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So, future plans. Uh, my future for now, actually, uh, for now, I'm having some trouble with some work, you know. Mm. Uh, three months, I don't have work, so this art helps me a lot. Like, you know, I earn some money for it, like I send money, something like that. But uh, my future plan is like, um, inshallah, mm. we are having some art attack meeting like, we can have some our own shop, okay. like spray cans, I don't know. Okay. And uh, for myself, I want to continue, I want to learn something new, I want to push myself to the limit and we do some, I will do some calligraphy requests, okay. like something like that and do some canvases, exhibit, 
something like that. Let's go, let's go. Yes, it's man. been a difficult time for a lot of people, but definitely yes, I can see a lot of positivity coming you so much. from you as it vibes to everybody. Yes. It's <laughs> appreciated with that. We're an artist, so we need to encourage Keep people. Keep it positive, right? Yes, man. Thank understand you. that, definitely. So any last words to your viewers? Okay, so here we go. Like, uh, even we are struggling for something, like, just don't stop. Continue, continue, push yourself to the limit. We have struggled, don't sit. Just do something to make things happen. Your dreams, if you are a married guy, married man, do something for your family, mm. pushing mm. yourself to the limit, mm. and, you know, believe in yourself. Okay. And uh, for, uh, we need to, what you call this? Um, ask all the viewers like yes. to join and support our growing community art art attack crew from our instagram uh, at attack attack at uh, art that attack that crew okay thank you that so was much. a tongue twister right there <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. well great job awesome thank you man. definitely and thank we you. will support the art attack crew definitely please much appreciated. Yeah. Actually, one more thing. Uh, Please. One more thing. Uh, we have our next exhibit. Okay. Okay. I almost forgot. Oh, wow. How we have you? our uh, second exhibit uh, next month. It's about a cost for a dogs and cat. Okay. Where it's in uh, um, at dog rescue center. Okay. Okay. This is uh, fully uh, like they're just uh, relaying on donations. Okay. We will do uh, paintings everything and we will go to Artly. They will help us to make it all happen. Okay. We wish your support and uh, thank you so much. Well, bless you for that. Thank much appreciated. So much. Definitely. Thank you so much. Thank man. you so much for being with us here on Bahrain thank Now. You. Thank you, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just keep going and follow your dreams and your passion. Those were the words of Mac Jumvi right here on Bahrain Now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, right now to a different pace, a different kind of vibe altogether when it comes to social media and being a contemporary mom and super cool altogether in one package with us here is the very renowned and amazing influencer, Manal Talal. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you so much for uh, this invite. It's a pleasure, definitely. <laughs> you, How pleasure you been right now with the social media world? Well, uh, it's busy. It's really busy. It takes the, it's a full day job. Okay. You do you you practice social media the f all day all day because mm. you have to create content that's related to your your daily life. Right. So right. yeah. Wow, it's a lot of things going on there. <laughs> Thing is, a, a lot of people like look at your content. It's so uplifting. Thank you so it much. It just brings positive vibes, mm -hmm. and it's like you're this beautiful mix of a contemporary mom, a person who wants to live her life to the max, you yeah. know, excitement and all the way, everything to the max, you know, and just having this beautiful, amazing, positive vibes for everybody and your beautiful family, of course. Thank Big you. shout out to your husband and your beautiful kids. Thank Bless you. you all with all of this. Now, what's happening with your account is like, what genre does it fall into? Comedy, vlogging, um, what's happening there? It's more into family-oriented content where it targets moms and dads. And also it's safe for kids, but mm. in a specific age, Jani, not completely kids, like my kids' age. No, it's like the teenage. They need to listen to some of the content that I create. Amazing, so, yeah. amazing, beautiful. So, and very articulated with the mm. answer. I, mean, I was just love like, hmm, one, two, three, there we go. <laughs> Now, when it comes to involving your kids and your family into videos, a lot of consideration takes place into that. Of Tell us more about that. Well, you have to take the kids, um, not their permission in a way, but if it bothers them to appear in front of the camera, it's not nice to force them into it mm. because it will affect them on the long term Right. where they might see the content that you created, including them, and then they will point the finger and blame you. Well, mom, you did not take my approval even though it affects me. Wow. When I'm a grown, a grown man wow. or a grown uh, 
boy. Right. So even my husband, even my family members, they need to know that I, the camera is rolling while mm. I'm shooting a video. So it's very important for them to know that they're included okay. or they're not. So Beautiful. I mean, can you tell how your kids right now are like, I would say, perceiving their famous mom right now, even your husband, like, oh, well, you know, my wife is Manal Dalal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Manal. So is that like kind of perception happening in your family? Well, yeah, my husband constantly confirms to me he's very proud. So awesome. thank you so much, Yusuf. <laughs> and uh, my kids, we ha I have two different personalities at home. Okay. Saif hates the camera huh. completely. All right. The opposite of Ali. Right. Ali would like sit in front of the camera and do cheese, <laughs> cheese for a video, for a photo, whatever. Mm. And he would actually act like yesterday we had a video shoot. Okay. And we asked him, <laughs> Ali, please pretend to sleep. And he was closing his eyes and smiling. We were like, no, no, Beautiful. no smile. <laughs> no smile, don't smile. He was like, <laughs> 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 he gave us the full scene, which was perfect. He's adorable, mashallah, Alui. He he reminds me of myself. Okay. I actually made my first advertisement when I was five years old. Wow. So yeah, it was for uh, uh, Saudi milk. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did it in Bahrain. <laughs> oh no way! Oh, halib uh, al Halib al Really? Yeah. Yes. I I had to jump on a rope and run to a mom that's not mine. <laughs> and pretend I have a fake brother. Wow. And I had a huge curly hair that was half of me. <laughs> I was so tiny. Amazing. Yeah. I, I, it's amazing that you actually remember. Yeah, I remember because um, my parents were so proud of it okay. because it was played on TV the whole time. Wow. And my cousins and my aunties, they were so proud about it. And they were like, Menon is on TV. <laughs> is on TV. Again. Yeah, you, you know, when I was five, what, what channels were there? There were like four channels on TV? Four? I thought uh, there were just two. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're that old now, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Can we see that ad on YouTube? I, well, I struggled to find it. I couldn't, I actually contacted Halib Study a company. Okay. Just to please get me the video. I would just want the clip. And I remember I was shot by Promo 7. I contacted wow. them and they told me they renew the videos every two years. So whatever that is I'm looking for, which was 25 years ago, is definitely deleted. Hmm, so all archived, I would say, right? Yeah, I asked about that, but nothing was available. And I, when I worked here, I also looked for it. Yeah. No, it didn't pay off. Mm, mm, amazing. Well, <laughs> you have a lot of experience going on since you were five. Yeah. You know, you were in front of the camera. The camera is a friend of yours, yes. actually. The friend, right now, the camera's like, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, you're in social media, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we kind of like mentioned that earlier in the interview. Seeing it, is it an actual main job or not? Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? Um, it could be a main job. If uh, you're working in within a region where they appreciate the content creator okay. as, a, as a company. Right. Because the amount of production, the amount of effort we put into produ pr producing a video right. or photography or whatever is actually huge. But when the region you're in don't appreciate the efforts you're putting, they will mm. definitely lower the amount you deserve the pay for. Right. So it could be considered as a job if right. the pay was good enough. But if, if, if you're getting 50 BD for each photo, wow. you can't consider it as a job. You are a presenter yeah. and influencer, a model mm -hmm. at the same time. And uh, you've been doing a lot when it comes to the media field, not only social media. So now, as you've been saying that social media, it depends on the region, right? Mm -hmm. And what I'm understanding right now, whether you're on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok, not only Bahrain, but right now you're expanding to different regions, yes. right? So how is that pretty much affecting you with your work? Do you have to consider the entire region or just Bahrain? Actually, I want to, uh, I want to target the entire region okay. because it's actually cool that we have so much in common, right. even though we're like miles apart. True. So Arabs have a lot of things that they can relate to mm. and in, rela in, uh, in relation to content. Right. So for example, do you know the videos where they joke about the water in the shampoo? 
where they add the, right yeah, yeah where they yeah, add yeah. water Being to economical shampoo. you know just whatever yeah. shampoo is left yeah. there just put some water and just you have a everyone, full bottle now everyone relates to that and it's so weird <laughs> i don't even remember doing it but it's funny how many people relate to it uh, i i relate <laughs> <laughs> so there are a lot of things that are similar to the water filling shampoo right so that's that's what gives me curiosity mm. where I want to create more and see the comments. What do people see? Amazing. What do people think about this? Uh, and it, before creating content, you actually need to analyze your audience mm. and know what to create for them. For example, now in TikTok, I'm right. going to do, I'm, I'm creating series okay. of product reviews. Huh. So I try to go uh, Chinese cold store, pick up some products, then review the Chinese product. And then I get a lot of reviews of people uh, or, or comments where people are curious about, oh, where is it? How right. can we check, how, how, how we're supposed to get this product? Right. Can we order it? Can so it's very interesting to see that what you're creating based on what you're interested in could actually interest other people. Interesting. Now, yeah. speaking of that, now we're entering the whole thing of being, whether you are a famous person or an influencer. I or definitely. Both. Um, I don't think I'm famous. Oh, you are. Yet. Okay, you're very ah, humble. You're very uh, humble. No, no, <laughs> that's actually true. Because when you're an influencer, especially in Bahrain, it's different than when you're famous in Bahrain. Okay. If you're famous, there is not even any way for people not to recognize you. However, if you are an, an influencer, there is a specific category that recognizes you. So that's it. Okay. <laughs> that's why I'm an influencer. Interesting. And people will always follow a famous person because they recognize the face and they recognize the style and they want to keep, keep up with their um, latest work. Okay. However, if you follow an influencer, you're influenced by their, by their lifestyle, the way they dress, the way they talk, the way they think. You want to be them. You're not just influenced by them. You want to be influenced by mm. them. So once you pl uh, click the follow button or the subscribe button, you're actually subscribing into changing your life into theirs. That's how wow. you want to be an influencer. That's why I fall into the influencer category. That is pretty it's deep, way actually. Better than way better. Way better, right? You, yeah. you, oh, I love that answer, actually. <laughs> I mean, that you pretty much like open my brains and, and my mind to a new topic altogether. Are you famous or you're an influencer? None. What do you think? <laughs> come on, Bara, come on. Come on, you're famous. I don't, am I? You are, because you're, you're into media. Okay. You're also into social media. However, you. your your work is not that much into social media. You're not very active. I'm more I saw of an your event YouTube guy. videos. You know, I'm more like doing events, hosting events before that. You know, t TV has been a big part of my life. No, you're interviewing me. Yeah. <laughs> I know your best friend is not the camera, it's the microphone. Yes, it is. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, you are a presenter. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> now, back to the influential part. Yeah. Who do you think you influence the most? Moms maybe husbands who want to be better than where they are now uh, people who want to invest in their time and instead i always say if you spend so much time watching social media it means you're busy following other pe other people lives and instead of your own mm. that's what i keep on saying and that's why i don't have that much followers just saying <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> because my follower i believe in my followers as much as they believe in me okay my followers want to live. They want to have their own life. They want to have goals and achieve those goals. Right. Not just watch the most famous people and the most famous influencers doing their, uh, achieving their dreams and I'm just sitting at home watching, feeling bad about myself. Mm. See, that's completely different. Mm. So be, part of being an influencer, it's pushing people into achieving their goals. And no. For that kind of content, beside the production and all that, how easy or how challenging it is for you to create content that you have to influence people like the criteria you just mentioned? It's actually challenging once you need to figure out your audience. Right. Uh, whenever you're using a new platform, for example, I used to use Snapchat and I boomed on Snapchat. But once Snapchat created the update, I had to move forward to the next platform mm. and try to recreate my content, uh, target a new type of audience. Right. So I started using Instagram. Instagram right. is more formal. Right. Uh, people have higher standards. Mm. Then moving to TikTok. Right. Then moving to YouTube. 
each platform have different Al audience algorithms different everything yes and you have to recreate and be different you have different mindset for different audience and just doing that is actually challenging but it's so much fun to do wow wow yeah. very inspirational Thank if i may you say so, much. so before we end this any last words to your viewers Future my viewers plans? yeah I actually already said I'm very proud of them. Okay. And I believe in them as much as they believe in me. And I actually want to motivate whoever sees themselves stuck where they are now. Mm. Social media is an open platform. It's a chance for everyone to take. So try to take the first leap and you might actually end up doing something amazing for yourself. Possibly, like yourself and your beautiful yeah. family. Yeah. Well, much appreciation to you and your beautiful family and all your viewers Thank you so who much. actually brought together this new genre that we're seeing right now and yeah. opening doors to new possibilities and opportunities. Yeah. Much appreciated. Thank you so much, Bara. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, as you saw it yourself, she almost even interviewed me. That was Malal Talal right here on Bahrain Now. Coming up with more, stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, age doesn't matter when it comes to doing something you love, like little Reem El Jodar or little Chef Reem is here to share with us her passion for cooking from a very young age. Well, welcome to the studio. Thank you so much. How are you today? Good, thank you. And you? Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm doing well. It smells so good, to be honest. Thank I'm you. so distracted right now. <laughs> they look so good. Tell us. First of all, how old are you? I'm 11 years old. Uh, two weeks ago, I turned. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> definitely. So we're going to celebrate your birthday today here okay. on TV, definitely. Yeah. So when did you start cooking? I started when I was a little girl. I was eight. Eight? Yeah. What was your first dish? Do you um, eggs. Eggs? Yeah. With tomatoes or just eggs? Just eggs. Okay, okay. And now, do, can you do tomato with eggs? Yeah. <laughs> Better than mine, I'm sure of it. Definitely. Yeah. We need to compare recipes. Maybe you and I one day, we're going to compare who has the best tomato eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Of course. All right. So, starting at eight, no, you're 11. Yeah. Um, little Chef Reem, everybody yeah. calls you that. So, tell us, how did you start? I started when I was a little girl. I was watching my mom that cooks, and then I told her, can I cook with you? And then she said, yes. And then I started cooking with her and that. And then my mom told me, um, why do you not open a social media Instagram? Mm. And then I opened one, and like that. Just simple yeah. as that? Yeah. She told you open social media account? Yeah. Do your cooking stuff on social yeah. media, and that's it? Yeah. Little Chef Reims on social media. Okay, great. So, what do you do on social media? I cook, like salads, everything. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. All right, yeah, awesome. Now, what is your favorite dish? Uh, pasta, Alfredo. Alfredo, ooh, yeah. with chicken, with? Chicken. All right, all right. Do you do spaghettis? Um, yeah. Okay. But not a lot. Have you tried sushi? No, never. It is, it is kind of a little technical, right? Yeah. Um, um, okay, no problem. So what do we have here today? Uh, muffins. I have two types of muffins. I have um, a chocolate chips and blueberry muffins. All right. Can I try? Yeah, of course. I can? Yeah. All right. You see everybody behind the scenes right now, especially yeah. Mahmoud, the yeah. director and producer, he's jealous. Because oh. I can actually right now eat the pancake. Yeah. Not pancake, sorry. Muffin. Muffin. You see, you see, I'm that hungry. Yeah. Let me try. So I'll try the chocolate chip if you don't okay. mind, all right? On three, two, one. Yeah. It hits right here. Yeah, I know. I tried Not the it. stomach, the heart. Yeah. Good. Thanks. Good for the soul. Yeah. You don't need a therapist. Yep. You need this. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> when I feel low or down, mm? I'm going to just eat one of your muffins. Okay. And I'll be all okay. 
Who needs depression? That's it, we got this. Yeah. <laughs> this is beautiful, I love this. Thank you so much. So what is your future plan? Uh, my future plan is to be a famous chef, and that's it actually. I love that. What is your, who is your favorite chef? Uh, chef Ramsey. Chef Ramsey? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? Um, because I think he's the best chef for myself. And that's... Okay, okay. Uh, well, you know, he's pretty active. Yeah. Loud, yeah. that's for sure. So, you know, do you think you're going to be like him in the sense of presenting TV shows? Maybe, I don't know. Huh. Okay, okay. Well, you know, you never, I think one day you're going to be a great presenter. Thank you. This is so good. I'm going to just take another bite if okay. you don't mind. Mm. Tastes so good, right? I just feel so good right now. Yeah. You know, uplifted, you know, I feel so good right now. It's just like you're a therapist but with your own food. Yeah. What is the ingredients? Um, there is um, butter, there is milk, Okay. there is eggs, and there is... Um, so many things actually. A uh, secret recipe? Yeah. You know, you don't want to tell me everything, right? I know what you're doing there. I know what you're doing there, definitely. Okay, I, I, I think I need to stop right now. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is so addictive. Again, again, now I feel way better. Oh, yeah. You know, I it's just that. because, right? Ooh, wow. Dopamine level going up. <laughs> so, okay, so now you will have maybe, do you plan to have your own restaurant one day? Yeah. Okay. It, it, are we talking about like uh, a sweetery place or are we talking about, you know, you can go in, you can order a pasta or you can order a matchboos? I think I'm going to start with the sweet things. Sweets. And then maybe, I don't know. So you can do muffins, right? Yep. Pancakes? Yep. You can't say no. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah all the way. You're like, yes, girl. Yeah. So <laughs> I love this. I love this. It's amazing. Now, we can't. What else can we see on your menu? Um, so many things. Pasta, muffins, pancakes. Yeah. Um, uh, anything Asian or Indian? Maybe cuisines? Um, I don't know. Italian, you know, pasta, of course. Yeah. Pizza? Yeah. You can do pizza? Yeah. Mex Easy. Mexican food? Mm, I don't know. You don't? You can do Mexican food? Like burritos, fajitas? I don't know, maybe. Will okay. you give it a try? Yeah, okay, sure. You know, our PR beautiful specialist, Madame Bayati, she will definitely help you with that. That's so good. I'm sure of it, definitely. Yeah. She's all about the Mexican culture. She can oh, help really? even with the language. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, she can definitely. Now, well, that can be your entry for Mexican food. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can do it. All right. Awesome. 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 Thank all right. Any last words to your viewers? Uh, thank you so much to interviewing me. And thank you. Well, thank you, actually. You definitely brought some uplifting mood to me with thank your food. You so much. much appreciated. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, honestly, this is so good. Little Reem El Joder, little chef Reem, pretty much was with us here on Bahrain now, giving us a beautiful time with her passion for cooking. More happening here on Bahrain now. Viewers, this brings us to an end of another great episode featuring great topics and events happening in the kingdom. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Feel free to send us your feedback and comments on our social media accounts via email as well shown below. Till next time, Bahrain, goodbye and God bless. <laughs>